This video covers five tips for using Witch, many tricks of Windows switching utility. We'll start with the basics and then move on to some things you may not know about Witch. The first thing you need to understand about Witch is how to do basic Windows switching, and it really is pretty simple. Now, when you look at the Witch settings panel, it can appear a little intimidating, but really on this uh, Triggers tab, there's only one thing you need to think about to get started with the basics, and that is what triggers are you going to use to activate Witch's switching panel in a, the All Applications mode, and you need to define a direction for forward cycling and backward cycling. And once these are defined, they are Option Tab and Shift Option Tab by default, you can call up the switcher by pressing those keystrokes and cycle forwards and backwards at will. So that's how basic switching works. Now about those funny symbols you see here, the uh, Option Tab, Shift Option Tab, there are a few others that you may see here, uh, the Tab key, the Shift key, Control key, Option key, and Command key. So use this as sort of a key to decode the symbols you may see in the various key boxes inside of uh, Witch's settings panels. The second thing about Witch that you should understand is it has the ability to set global hotkeys, that is, keys that work even when the Witch switching panel is not on screen. You also do this on the Triggers tab in Witch's uh, settings window, and it's down at the bottom in the section labeled Additional Actions. And once again, there are a lot of choices here. Uh, you may or may not want to activate all of them. I find three of them particularly useful. That is the ability to uh, deminimize or free from the dock, whatever you want, all minimized windows. Uh, you can also set a global keyboard shortcut to close all minimized windows. And you can set a shortcut to zoom the frontmost min window. That is the equivalent of pressing the green zoom button in the window can be done via the keyboard on a global basis. So you may want to set some uh, global keys here for use on these actions that you tend to do a lot. The third thing about which is that you can use it to do fast toggling. And what's fast toggling? Well, the easiest way to demonstrate it is to show first uh, what it looks like in Command Tab, which is the application switcher in OS X. As you know, if you press Command Tab, the switcher pops up and you can switch between Program 1 and Program 2. But if you press and release it quickly, you can toggle between those programs without the switcher actually showing up on screen. So that's what I call fast toggle. Now, it turns out that which also has a fast toggle mode and it's controlled by this setting in the behavior tab called show list with a pop-up setting for how long of a delay you'd like to have before the which panel appears. It's set to two tenths of a second. If you never want to do fast toggling you could set this to right away or if you'd like to have longer to think about it you could set it to one of the other values here. Now here's a quick little demonstration slowed down but as long as you press and release Option Tab within two tenths of a second, which is panel will not appear. And uh, here's the equivalent demonstration, Option Tab, I hold it down and press Tab and Shift Tab and I go through the regular switcher and call up System Preferences. And I can do that again and call up Wikipedia in Dictionary. But if I do Option Tab and uh, I'll do it slower than two tenths of a second, but uh, for demonstration purposes, notice the active window is changing, but the switcher panel is not appearing. So that's Witch's fast toggle mode. Witch has a number of shortcuts you can use on the keyboard to help you do things, and they cover a, a variety of different uh, tasks within Witch, so let's take a look at a, a few of these. On the Appearance tab in Witch's Settings window, there's a shortcut thing here for called Show Space Numbers, and you can control the color of these numbers. And uh, you may wonder what space numbers are, and they are the number of the space in which the window in the list is currently displayed. So when the setting is off, this is what the which setting switching panel may look like. When you click the button one time, what you will see is it turns into a minus sign, not a full check mark. What that means is that which is now showing space numbers for windows that are outside of the current space. And if we zoom in, you can see that uh, both which and Finder are in the current space because they don't have a number, but Firefox and System Preferences are in a different space, so they are numbered. If you click the button one more time, it gains a full check mark. And now every window in the current space and outside of the current space gets a space number. Back on the Appearance tab of which is Settings screen, one of the other choices you might want to look at is the Show Keyboard Shortcuts option. What this does is it makes visible shortcuts that are always functioning in Witch, but might be hard to remember without a visual aid. So let's go ahead and enable it, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, when you have this box checked, 
In the switching panel, you will see a little blue circle with a number in it, and those numbers represent window numbers 0 through 9, and you can jump to any one of those windows directly by pressing the corresponding number key on the keypad. So, this is a great way to jump between the first 10 windows in the panel in a hurry. Now, as I said, these are always functional, but you won't see the badges unless you check this box in the options. The final set of shortcuts in Witch are panel keystrokes, that is, keystrokes you can use while the Witch panel is on the screen. So uh, let's take a look at our standard Witch panel here, and I'm going to put it off to the side. And here's a list of commands that you can use while the panel is on the screen. So if your trigger is Option Tab, you can press Option Tab comma to get to the Witch settings screens. This is actually the easiest way to get to Witch's preferences. Uh, in addition, you could use H to hide the application or you could use Z to zoom or unzoom the specified window. And even if you have the preview feature turned off in which, if you hit the space bar or the P key, a preview window will appear for the selected window in the switcher. As you can see, there are a number of other keys listed here. And if you read help, there are actually a few more. So you can do quite a bit of interaction with the which panel while it's on the screen. The uh, last tip I'd like to share with you today is how to use Witch with a trackpad. Whether that's the built-in trackpad on your laptop, or magic trackpad, or some other sort of trackpad, Witch and a trackpad actually work very well together with just a few tweaks to the standard setup. The first thing you need in order to use Witch with a trackpad is some sort of tool to send keystrokes, that is the Witch activation keystrokes, to the trackpad. And uh, I've tried a lot of them, and the one I like the best is called Better Touch Tool. It's at bettertouchtool.net and their uh, website looks like this at present. might change, of course. And as a donationware application, and once you've installed Better Touch Tool, you need to assign a gesture in Better Touch Tool to activate which. And in my case, I used a single figure tap on the right side middle of my Magic Trackpad, and you can see that I'm sending Option Tab via Better Touch Tool when I touch that area of the trackpad. And because that's my which activation keystroke, that activates which when I touch the Magic Trackpad. The uh, next thing you need to do is set up which such that it works properly with the trackpad. And as I said, that does take a few tweaks in the settings section for which. In particular, you want to change some things on the behavior tab. The first choice is that you want to tell which to show the list right away. That is, you don't want any delay before the list appears. If you set a delay here, what happens is that which ends up working in fast toggle mode because in essence the trackpad records the touch and the release and those both happen before the delay so you will toggle between applications without ever seeing the which panel. So for trackpad use, set this to right away. The next thing you will need to do is set a cancel item at the bottom of the windows list. Now, this isn't necessarily required, but once you've called up the panel with the trackpad, if you decide you don't want to change applications, having a cancel item at the bottom of the list means you don't have to reach for the keyboard to press the escape key. Next, you want to go down in the section called Selection, and you may or may not want to enable the selection wraps around when scrolling via scroll wheel or trackpad. This will essentially let you fling your fingers up and down and have the uh, selection bar scroll through the bottom and back through the top, or vice versa, if this is enabled. Again, not strictly required. Finally, this one is required. Uh, you want to make sure that you uncheck the box that says Releasing All Modifier Keys activates the selected window. What this does is, once you've activated which, uh, it will stay on the screen until you select an item and uh, activate that item. So what this does is lets the panel stay there after you've called it up via tap on your trackpad. So with those settings in place and Better Touch Tool running, here's how this actually looks in a little split screen video of myself and my MacBook Air's trackpad using which. So I'll call it up with my right side finger tap and there it is. Now when I scroll with one finger you'll notice the mouse cursor is moving. This is like moving the mouse to flip through and I can't go past the bottom and I can't uh, go past the top because I'm moving the mouse. But if I use two fingers notice I can fling my way through the list and at quite a rapid speed if I want to. So and then I can cancel by tapping the cancel button. Using which with a trackpad really feels natural and it's a great way to take advantage of the multi-touch capabilities in today's trackpads. I hope you've learned something with today's tips on which. Until next time, this is Rob Griffiths signing off for Many Tricks.